at the outset i wish to thanks uh, the organizing team dr kumar prabhas sir dr vanita narona madam and dr vijay patil sir and the whole organizing team for inviting me here so uh, checkmate uh, 816 is uh, one of the game changer article got published in negm and um, in uh, in the context of use of new uh, immunotherapy in resectable lung cancer so i will be presenting an abstract which was presented in asco is a post hoc analysis of uh, checkmate uh, 816 uh, and uh, that tried to figure out that what is the association between pathological response after new adjuvant chemo plus immunotherapy with event free survival so uh, we uh, uh, alok sir has already presented that uh, this this was the design of original checkmate 816 resectable non small cell lung cancer patients irrespective of uh, pdl1 status they were enrolled in two arms nivo plus chemotherapy versus chemotherapy only uh, followed by surgery and the primary endpoints were uh, efs and path uh, pathological complete response rate now uh, to note here in the original article the definition of path cr was noted as complete response no residual viral sins in both tumor as well as sample limb nodes uh, however in the uh, abstract which i am going to present their path cr was reported uh, as only no residual cells in primary tumor there is no mentioning of the what happened to the limb node and uh, the secondary end point one of the secondary end point was uh, uh, um uh, Uh, major pathological response which means less than 10% viable cells in the surgical specimen so uh, let's see the change so uh, efs by path cr status in the path evaluable patient population we all know that uh, nivo plus uh, chemo uh, that arm had a uh, as high as path cr rate of 24% compared to only 2% in chemotherapy only arm now uh, just to figure out how the path cr patients are performing uh, in nivo plus uh, chemo arm the efs uh, at 2 years is as high as 93% compared to only 58% uh, in no path cr arm so here is a huge difference and huge separation of curves now for only chemotherapy arm Uh, though there is a difference uh, in the curves but you know uh, it's very difficult to interpret these curves because hardly uh, uh, five patients had path cr in chemotherapy only arm so the hazard ratio could not be uh, figured out so uh, we all know that uh, the in original article of checkmate 816 the uh, magnitude of benefit of adding nivo with chemotherapy was Uh, more in stage 3a stage 3a patients and there were more in the pdl1 positive patients so these curves are also uh, actually uh, reflecting the same data that for stage 1b and stage 2 the 2 year path cr rates are uh, for nivo plus chemo 90% versus no path cr 56% and the stage for stage 3a patient at 2 year the path cr uh, those who had path cr the uh, efs uh, rate was 96% versus 59% these are the association between uh, ed, ed, uh, efs by path cr in pdl1 less than 1% versus 1% more than 1% and at 2 years less than 1% pdl1 score uh the those who had path cr the uh, two year efs rate was 86% uh, and compared to only 47% uh, in um, who did not have any path cr and if pdl1 was more, score was more than 1 see the difference at two years uh, the path efs rate was 97% versus 72% so uh this is not only the uh, not only uh, uh, holds true for a uh, path cr patient even in major pathological response patients also they showed improved efs uh, uh, compared to who did not sh uh, show any uh, uh, major pathological response and the pathological response if we analyze that in a continuum that what was the variable uh, continuum variable that what was the percentage of residual uh, viable cells that also shows that the response of pathological response um, uh, 
uh, magnitude is uh, associated with the EFS that this is the curve uh, where the EFS was 90% at two years where the residual viable cells were only zero to five percent. Uh, when uh, the residual viable cells are five to 30%, then the EFS at two years drops down from 90% to 60%. There is a 30% difference in EFS. And when there is uh, less than 20% uh, uh, response, that means 80% viable residual cells, then the two year EFS uh, curve that, uh, that drops down to as low as 39%. Now, uh, talking about safety profile, uh, there is no new safety issues and all, uh, any grade uh, adverse effects or grade three or grade four adverse effects are actually well matched in both the arms and they are not different. So to conclude this post hoc, uh, post -hoc analysis uh, of Checkmate 816, which is landmark trial, is a first in-depth assessment of pathological regression and EFS in phase three trial. And uh, EFS was improved uh, in NIVO plus chemo uh, and as well as the path CR and major pathological re response rates were also higher. And these uh, benefits are actually shown uh, in all the stages and in all the PDL wall expression score, but uh, the magnitude of benefit uh, tends to be higher in, in PDL1 uh, positive patients and in stage 3A patients. And this trial actually proved that uh, presence of pathological response or major pathological response can be considered as one of the early predictor or indicator of uh, long-term outcome, which was never proved in uh, uh, any other phase three trial before. So with this, I want to uh, conclude. Thank you all.